Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here, and welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. Now today, we are gonna be learning um, a little bit more about manipulation uh, scenes. So I have two uh, pictures that I'm gonna be using the same effect on. Now, all the reason why I have two pictures is because it looks um, a little bit different uh, for the, each style of the picture. So this picture is a um, is a forest picture. It's more, uh, there's no like real, um, there's no like real main, uh, main, uh, attract uh, attraction like this where there's the guy in here where everyone will be looking at the guy main, uh, mostly we're here everyone will be looking all around so all right so let's get just get right into it um so first things first you're gonna right click on the background and then convert to smart object okay and then you're gonna go to filter and then you're gonna go to blur and then Gaussian blur okay now just make sure the blur is very strong and just make sure you can just see the details in the uh, original picture. Okay, so now when you have this, you should have, you should see this um, little symbol right here. Just double click on that symbol, and then it'll bring this box up and it says mode. Change the mode to screen. Now you can see it's already doing um, a really nice effect. Now you'll just change this to your liking. Um, so I'm just gonna put it around, around 83%. And then, of course, in a manipulation, you always want to put a nice CC. So in my other tutorials, I showed you just a nice black and white uh, CC, which is what I'm going to do right here. So I'm actually going to change that to full black, like so. And it's looking very nice. You're going to, of course, change the opacity on that just to your liking. So I think this is a really nice uh, effect. Uh, so now we're going to show, I'm going to show you how to do it on the on this type of picture where there's a guy and there's a, a main attraction of the of the picture okay so we're going to do the exact same thing just convert to smart object go to filter blur gaussian blur and then just make sure that you can just see the details in the picture so right now it's 38.3 pixels for me so now we're going to do okay and then again just double click on the on the blur symbol and then go to screen and now you can see it's already making a nice effect. So again, it, the lighting might be a little bit too bright. So bring it down just a tad bit. And then we're just gonna put the nice CC in again. And just make sure that it's perfectly black. And then put it to overlay. Now guys, this looks very nice. You can do a lot of things with uh, these kind of manipulations. So guys, um, I hope you like this. This is sort of like a more of a dream effect is what I would describe it as. Where, um, So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this, please do like and comment. And guys, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Adobe After Effects, and Cinema 4D, then please do subscribe. Thank you guys and have a great day.